Kung gagaling ko lang magpunta sa Taipo. Ah! Biyahe po tayo ulit sa... Saan ba yung pinagbabay? <laughs> Hanggang ngayon, hindi ko pa rin kabisado yung tinatravel ko. Pero, pag-uusapan po natin yung difference ng driving on the right side at driving on the left side. As you can see, I am driving in the right side of the car but on the left side of the road. Uh, confusing po ito, especially so kung driver ka na sa Pinas. Just because your orientation is so different. Lalo na po yung sa uh, signaling, yung driving habit mo when it comes to looking at the side mirror, which one comes first. Ayan. And po yung isa sa mga confusing na uh, problema when it comes to learning how to drive in Hong Kong. Especially so, na mahigpit ang patakaran dito. Kasi, syempre, uh, Hong Kong is considered as third world country. Third world? Hindi pala. Kami, pidas pala yung third world. <laughs> Tama ba yun? Basta mahirap ang Pinas, tas ang Hong Kong mayaman. <laughs> Ayan. So, i-discuss ko po yung first na pra, uh, ano, yung difference nila. Of course, the difference is you're driving on the right side. Your signal light turn were sometimes in Philippines eh, na sa right hand ng kamay mo. Okay? Yung signal light. Tapos, dito, it depends upon the car, but Usually, it's in the left side of the hands. Yung mga signal, uh, signaling, yun, signal light. Yun, yung mga nagbiblink na yun. Usually, it's on the left side of the car or of the driver. Yun po yung isa sa napansin kong most different, mostly number one difference na Second is the road orientation. In the Philippines, ang kasalubong mo ay nasa kaliwa. Ang nandito sa Hong Kong, ang kasalubong mo ay nasa kanan. And you're, you're driving on the right side of the car, but you're driving on the left side of the road. So, Kailangan po, always remember when you are driving in Hong Kong, kung nasan yung manobela mo, dapat nandudun yung kasalubong mo. Dapat makikita mo yung kasalubong mo over there. Kasi, once I, I, I tried driving in Causeway Bay, ito yung very newbie pa lang talaga ako. Sobrang hindi ko alam kung paano ko ma maayos yung orientation ko when it comes to driving because in the Philippines, I was used to drive on the right side, of course. Then, ang kasalubong mo is the left side. So, yun. Nahirapan ako dun. Another difference nila is the cambio or shift gear. Shifting gear, shift gear, So, in Hong Kong, sometimes it's in the, uh, nasa manubela. Anong English ng manubela? Steering wheel. Nasa downside of the steering wheel, yung shifting gear. Ano ba yung mga tinutukoy kong shifting gear? It's the, the drive, the return, the neutral, yun po. Pero, was driving Porsche also at saka Hilux no 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 High Ace Alam, nakalimutan ko Alphard pala I was driving Alphard also meron naman sila yung normal na nasa cambio talaga siya 
nasa baba, hindi siya nasa manobela. So dun sa normal na na, na shifting gear eh nasa left side of the driver yung shifting gear. So dalawa yung tinutukoy ko yung difference. Meron yung nasa steering yung shifting gear, meron yung normal na nasa right side oh no, nasa left side of the driver pero sa Pinas, of course the shifting gear is supposed to be on the right side of the driver yan, so medyo ano naman, madali lang naman yun kasi you are most likely not using your steering gear more often because you're using automatic transmission cars in Hong Kong aside of those things ano pa ba yung difference uh, difference sa signal, mga signage and information usually sa Pilipinas of course we're driving on the left part of the road kaya ang mga signals ay nasa left part of the road dito sa Hong Kong both left and right side have most likely the information or the uh, yung mga signage tinatawag natin both side of the road have pero yung mga ibang sige pasok pasok kasing biglang sumingit. Nakita nyo siguro yun. <laughs> eh, meron siyang harap. Nagmamadali si Kuya. Ayun. So, dito ang mga stoplight uh, napakadami. Confusing siya, of course. Kasi isa lang yung gusto mong puntahan, kadami mong nakikita. Pero uh, sa Hong Kong, makikita mo na kung saan ka dapat mag-lane saan ka pupuntang position ka sa road sa floor pa lang sa road mismo so kung halimbawa liligo ka sa kanan mo yan ang ingay ni kuyang truck bakit kaya nagbibusina pa siya or <laughs> sorry na distract ayun balik tayo sa uh, ano sa stoplight ayun siya naka nakalagay siya sa middle of the road sometimes most likely nasa right side siya ng driver pero usually of course usually maraming signal light dito both side of the road have the signage ayun so brief lang yung sinabi ko kasi wala na ibang kailangan discuss no? pero sa mga interested na matuto na magmaneho uh, ang suggestion ko is you watch uh, driving tutorial from British driving tutorial kasi English ang language nun then ang orientation niya is Hong Kong or I mean na adapt kasi ang ang driving style ng Hong Kong sa British. So, I check on the website of the China, dun sa paano kapag magda-drive ka sa China. Kasi ang driving style dun sa China is like Philippines. They are driving on the left side. Orientation ng road is right side. So, yun, na nakita ko dun sa bridge na pag sa dun sa website na pinasa ko eh dun sa boundary ng China and Hong Kong makikita yung difference sa driving dun pero sabi nila gusto daw dati na ilapat dito sa Hong Kong yung driving style ng China pero ang mga tao sa Hong Kong ayaw nila ng driving style ng China. Of course, they are uh, a colon, uh, col 
colony of Britain for long time it's about 200 years more or so kaya parang this is the way of life here in Hong Kong so naka-adapt naman ng mga residents ng uh, mga Chinese residents ng Hong Kong uh, taga mainland naka-adapt naman sila kasi they have both the license of Hong Kong and license of China. Pero okay lang yun. So yun lang yung discussion ko. I hope may natutunan kayo or kung wala man kayo natutunan eh, para sa mga nakakailangan ng ganitong information at least na-share ko sa inyo. 